Folks, this is a warning video. Please make sure that you pay attention very closely to what we're about to do here because it's very important that you understand exactly what's going on when you are importing a model into your layout from the certified model download. If you're using a downloaded model, all PPD certified downloaded models will be found from the same x -Lights model download that you are familiar with already. And that would be this function here by clicking and dragging. We went ahead and downloaded all of these models, but it's very important that if you didn't use this model and if you don't remember what model you're using, that you verify your model first is wired exactly the same way as the model that you're downloading or you could create some very big problems for yourself down the road. So first off, make sure that you come in to your x -Lite software, click File, and hit the backup key. Hit the F10 key or hit the backup key. What that will do is that will create a backup just in case you make a mistake and you replace a model and you've lost the model. Now you're able to go retrieve this from your backup folder and reinstate it into your layout and start over again if you need to. That's step number one. Step number two is finding the model that matches the model you already have. You're going to have to know what model you have in order to replace it with the model that you'd like to use as an upgrade or an update. If you don't find the model inside our model download, then what you can always do is put a request in on this page right here that is back here. Let's go back one page. You can put a request in for a specific model pointing out to it on the on the. Uh, on the website and we can see what we can do about getting that model settled and situated for you if it's not already on the list. So let's go back and we're going to look for the uh, Chroma Flake 36 3 prong here. To download the model you just click on the model and then click the download button here direct download and if you're in Win I'm in Fo Mozilla Firefox and I'm gonna click OK and save the model and then here it showed up in my downloads so I've got it right there what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into x -Lights. Now, you can see I have two versions of x -Lights here, and I'm doing this so that I can verify on one screen that the original model is exactly duplicate to the downloaded certified model. So this is the first step before you do anything major into your layout. You're going to click on Import. There's that little Import. I can make this a little bit bigger for you. There we go. You can see where it says Import and I'm going to click and drag and now I'm going to go to my download folder which is right here and I'm going to select the Boscoyo Chroma Flake and click open. Now there's going to be a significant numbers of OK's that you're going or yeses or OK's that you're going to have to click. I'm going to click through these rather quickly. And once the model is brought into the layout all we're going to do is grab it, and I'm, I'm just moving it to the side here. And you can see here the difference between this model here. There is no submodels on this one. There is a submodel that was added to this one. So it's something that will do something. Oops, I scrolled a little too far. There is something here added that wasn't there on the initial ones. And what we're going to do is using this second screen, we're going to open up the model layouts on both sides and we're going to click on each model and we're going to click on the model data to verify that these are in fact the exact same models that the wiring diagram starts at the exact same place. Now just looking at the custom model dialog you can see here this is the original and this is the new one where the yellow dot is that's the first pixel in the lineup so you can go over there you can scroll down to the middle there's the middle and we come down just a little bit by scrolling and there's number one there's number two there's number three there's number four Here's number five, here's number six. Let's go do this over on this model here. And if we look at this, we can see here's number one, skips over to two, we scroll up to three, now we go out on the arm to four, and we scroll to the left, 
five, and six. Now, you want to verify this for absolutely every pixel that is on here, just to make sure. But mostly, if you've got it started and you can tell it's probably going to be exactly the same model, then you should be good to go. We're not changing a wiring diagram at all. However, if you've selected a model from another source that has a different wiring layout or a wiring guide, you'll have to, in order to use the PPD certified model, you'll have to rewire your prop to match uh, the certified prop. So keep that in mind as you're going through and using the certified PPD models. Thanks for joining me, folks. We'll be back in the next video to show you how to get this into your layout and what you can do with them.